Hey LC, welcome back to your ninth installment of LCTV. I'm Ava Lenz. And I'm Tara Lubo, and today we'll be talking about COVID's effect here at LC. Meeting up with LC's cheer team. And Interact Club's new fundraiser. On Monday, December 20th, Omicron was discovered in the United States and has been spreading rapidly. Omicron is a strain from COVID-19 that has the same symptoms but is less severe. Loss of taste and smell, which is the most specific symptom for COVID, appears to be less common in Omicron. The Omicron variant seems to be spreading at an increasing rate. To help prevent you from getting Omicron and COVID, you should still wear your masks, wash your hands, and keep a six feet distance. For more information, you can visit the CDC's official website. My thoughts on Omicron is that it is a new strain of COVID that is more dangerous and it's found in younger children. Logan Paul recently bought a supposed $3.5 million worth first edition Pokemon box, which is the most anyone has ever paid for a Pokemon box, from my very own baseball card exchange in Shamble, Indiana. After posting a picture of it on Twitter, People expressed their concerns, so Logan met with the same owner of Baseball Card Exchange to get it re-authenticated, and it turns out the box is actually fake and instead held a bunch of old, worthless G.I. Joe merch. After this, Logan did get a refund and is now helping the owner track down the original seller to get $2 million back. I'm Indian Blood Oak from Sophomore, and uh, my whole take on the Logan Paul the Pokemon cards thing is... What a clown, man. Like, what's he doing spending that kind of money on Pokemon cards anyway? Like, it's just funny. I think it's funny. Hey, Sarah, do you ever wonder what guys are wearing to winter formal? No, let's go see what they're wearing. I'm thinking about wearing an all leopard suit with a white undershirt and a silver bow tie to formal this year. What I'm wearing to formal is an all black suit with a black tie and a black undershirt because my date is wearing an all black dress. So formal, I was thinking about wearing a, a dark blue suit, a white t-shirt, black belt, gray pants, and black shoes. And then my girlfriend's wearing a navy blue dress, so I was thinking about wearing something like a navy blue tie, maybe like a plaid tie, like a match dress. All right, this year in formal, um, I'm wearing a all orange suit with a light orange undershirt and orange ruffles and a top hat, of course. I'm wearing a black suit with a white undershirt, and I don't know what tie color yet because my girl hasn't chosen dress. I'm wearing a light gray suit with a white undershirt and like a light purple bow tie because that's the color that my date's wearing. For formal, um, I'm gonna wear a navy blue like suit with a white undershirt and a gold bow tie. Uh, hi, my name is Adam White. Uh, this year for formal, I'm gonna wear black on black, so I'm gonna wear a black uh, suit black shirt, black pants, and then I'm gonna have some nice new black shoes. Wow, the guys have it easy. Now let's check out Interact Club's new fundraiser. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Winchell, and I'm a part of Interact Club. I'm the co-president along with Emily Lopez, and this year we're doing a Valentine's Day fundraiser. What that incorporates is we're gonna be selling roses February 7th through the 11th during lunches. We'll be selling one for a dollar or three in a little bouquet for three dollars. We have the deep red roses or we have the bright red, your pick. And we'll be distributing them Monday, February 14th, the following week on Valentine's Day. And all proceeds will go to the Domestic Violence Shelter in Crown Point, St. Jude's. If you guys have any questions, you can contact me on my email, btwinchell at lcsstudents.com or my co-president's email, emilylopez at eg. EJ Lopez at lcsstudents.com. Hey Ava, do you plan on getting one? I definitely want to get one. Now let's take it to Katie and Kelsey on this week's sports update. What's up, LC? Welcome back to this week's sports update. I'm Katie Odrobanak. And I'm Kelsey Moore. Let's roll into it.
The girls' basketball team are on a seven-game winning streak and won their past DAC game against Portage 59-46. The girls play today at home versus Velpo at 7.45. Make sure to be there. Our boys' basketball team also beat Portage last Friday with a score of 46-42. The boys play today at home against Velpo, but tip-off will be at 6 p.m., not 7. Make sure you come out and support the boys. This past Saturday, our wrestling team had their DAC meet at Maryville where they placed fourth. Good luck with the rest of your season. Tomorrow, our boys and girls swim team have their DAC invite. Good luck to both teams. Our Centralettes competed in the UDA Chicagoland Regional Championship this past weekend. The girls placed first in Palm, first in Jazz, and second in Hip Hop. Good luck in your next competition, girls. This past week, our gymnastics team competed against Portage and won with a score of 108.7 to 106.87. Great job, girls, and good luck in your next meet. This past weekend, our cheerleaders showcased their national routine at the Oak Forest competition. Good luck on the rest of your season. And speaking of cheer, this year we have a new addition from England. Let's go check it out. I transferred here from Yorkshire and I live with my family here. I started cheer when I was five in England and moved here at the start of last year and tried out for high school cheer. Had a lot of ups and downs this season, but we placed top three at state and we're getting ready for nationals in February. In America, the routine styles are much different and we tumble on dead floor instead of having springs under our feet. In England, we didn't have football and basketball games, so I've never done sideline cheers. Carolina really has been a great addition to our team this year. That's it for this week's Sports Update, LC. I'm Kelsey Moore. And I'm Katie O'Drovenak. We'll see you next time. And now, a word from our sponsors. Located directly south of LC at 8420 Wicker Avenue, Ascension Nutrition offers meal replacement shakes, energizing teas, and more. Come try some of their amazing flavors like the Samoa Protein Shake and Red Lambo Tea. And add protein, probiotics, and other immunity boosters to your liking. With their focusing properties, these teas are great before school. And if you're not in the mood for a shake, turn your favorite flavor into an oatmeal bowl. They're open 6 to 5 Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 Saturday, and 9 to 2 on Sunday. Go check them out. Next, let's take it to Gabby, Clara, and Olivia on Wrong Answers Only. <laughs> Wrong Answers Only, what is a three-pointer? You score a point in football. Answers Only, what's the type of pasta? Beef. <laughs> answers Only, what's your favorite food from McDonald's? Uh, probably a frosty. Wrong answers only. What's the capital of Indiana? Uh, Gary. <laughs> wrong answers only. Oh. <laughs> that's not the wrong Great. answer. Wrong answers only. Oh, you can't high five me. That's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> wrong answers only. Who is the president? Uh, uh, Dwayne Rock Johnson. <laughs> okay, on the count of three, I'm going to show you a picture, and you guys have to say wrong answers only, okay? Alright. Here's a picture. One, two, three. Ariana Grande. <laughs> Wrong answers only. What's Kim Kardashian's kid's name? New York. Wrong answers only. Old McDonald had a what? A bad back. <laughs> Alright, wrong answers only. Who is this? Um, that's Pete Davidson. <laughs> That looks like a lot of fun, right there? Yeah, it does. Now let's shine some light on our wonderful teachers here at LC. Here's our new recurring segment, Teacher of the Week. My favorite thing about Miss Loden is how helpful and lenient she is with homework. Uh, my favorite part about Miss Loden's class is probably the fact that she gives us quiz corrections, so it's easier to understand the topics she teaches. I started teaching at Lake Central in um, 19, fall of 1984, so I've been here 38 years. Why did I go into teaching, or what is my favorite thing about teaching? You know, growing up, I loved playing school with my sister. Um, I just always, when I went to school as a student, elementary, middle school, high school, I just really enjoyed it. I enjoyed, my favorite subject was math, so that's why I teach math. For me, teaching is more than just, you know, coming here from, you know, 7 to 2.30 and when I'm teaching my math classes, it's also working after school with the cheerleaders or helping with homecoming or sponsoring prom, you know, senior banquet. I, I, I think all those aspects are, are part of, you know, teaching. 
I'm going to kind of quickly review what we talked about last time, which was, was that geometric interpretation. And then we're going to learn something new called um, Riemann sum. I've been involved with um, coaching the cheerleaders for 34 years. I said I started at Lake Central in 84, but the opportunity to coach didn't become available until 1988. My kids went to school here. They enjoyed coming to the activities with me. You know, my daughter cheered, my sons played baseball, and so, you know, it's just always kind of been a family thing here to, you know, support um, athletics and be the cheer coach. Thank you, Ms. Loden, for being such a great and helpful teacher. Next up, let's see how COVID is affecting Elsie. COVID had a really big impact on the students and staff over winter break, causing the holidays to be celebrated differently this year. My siblings and I had COVID over winter break. When I got tested, I went to a testing site in Crown Point. My Christmas was affected because I couldn't see any of my family. My grandparents had to leave our gifts at the door and we had zero contact with them. We rescheduled our Christmas plans for New Year's Day after we all tested negative. We usually go see our grandparents on Christmas Eve and Christmas, but all that got canceled because we had COVID. We wanted to protect them, and so we just stayed away and sat at home. My Christmas was affected because of COVID, um, because I tested positive a few days before Christmas. Ended up being positive, like I think it was like three days before Christmas, so I really just utilized FaceTime. I got to FaceTime my family since I was quarantined. Um, they didn't really get together to do the whole big um, extended family Christmas. So it was just my immediate family, but I got to FaceTime them. Don't forget to wear your mask and to take all the precautions necessary. Well, that's it for today, Elsie. I'm Ava Lenz. And I'm Sarah Lubo. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Lake Central Television, which you can find all the links to our social media. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. Bye! Bye.